Antofagasta PLC released its half-year financials for 2019, and I would like to comment on some of the highlights of these results. The most important point is that we continue to meet our main group goal, zero fatalities. As always, it is extremely important that we don't take safety for granted. We are committed to making sure all our workers retain home safely. In line with guidance, copper production for the first half of the year increased by 22% to 387,000 tons, thanks to an increase in production at all our operations. We are now in position to meet our full year production guidance of between 750 and 790,000 tons. Along with increased output and sustained effort to produce profitable tons of copper, our net cash costs for the first six months decreased year on year. On the financial side, revenues for the period increased by 19% on the back of higher copper sales volumes and by product revenues, offsetting a 6% decrease in the realized copper price. For its part, EBITDA grew by 44%. The outlook for the copper market, however, remains uncertain. With the protracted negotiations between the US and China impacting global trade. We have the team, the assets, capabilities and disciplined capital allocation strategy to help us meet this challenging external macro environment. Construction of the Los Pelambres expansion project has started on site and, on, and project completion was at 22% as of the end of June. This project should be coming online in the second half of year 2021. At Sentinela, we expect to start construction of a new pit, Esperanza Sur, at the end of this calendar year. And at Saldivar, meanwhile, we are in the process of obtaining the water rights required to extend the mine life. We are also implementing the Saldivar Chloride Leach project, which should also be completed in the second half of 2019. Antofagasta aspires to be a high-quality, reliable operator, which offers unique exposure to copper, a preferred commodity, in an attractive mining jurisdiction like Chile and with assets that hold significant long-term development optionality. Thank you.